Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, May the 19th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Our satellite image this morning shows we have a mixture of some clouds as well as some clear skies. Uh, and uh, one of the things producing the clouds are a couple of uh, showers that are man managing to maintain themselves into the early morning hours. On our surface weather map, uh, the southeastern U.S. is primarily under a large high pressure system nosing in from the Atlantic. In the upper atmosphere, we see a little bit of a trough over uh, the Ohio and Tennessee river valleys, and that will be edging on out uh, as a ridge becomes kind of the dominant feature for the next uh, several days, for much of the week ahead, actually. Temperatures this morning across central Alabama generally in the 60s. A note that uh, Birmingham there is at 70 degrees for one of the warmer spots, actually. There's a look at uh, radar just as I started this, and you can see that uh, there's uh, three or four showers that have managed to maintain themselves overnight. Our watch warning map uh, features uh, some green areas. Those are all flash flood uh, watches or flood watches. And then the blues you see over North Dakota as well as parts of New England are uh, frost advisories. In New England, the darker blue are actually freeze warnings. QPF-wise, we're looking at probably on the order of an inch of rain possible over the next five days. This is uh, through uh, Thursday morning. And uh, the uh, rain, of course, is not going to come evenly. It'll come in the form of showers. All right, let's take a look at the 060 GFS model run. And uh, there's, uh, once again, uh, the high pressure nosing in from the Atlantic, and that is uh, keeping our atmosphere very moist. We have this little shortwave uh, trough over the Ohio River Valley that is moving on out. Uh, and that will be allowing the ridge that you see just to the west of the Mississippi River to move in. And that uh, is where the highest likelihood for severe weather ahead of that uh, more uh, larger trough uh, coming out of the central Rockies. The, uh, that trough comes out of the central Rockies and the one that was over our area moves on out. And you can see the ridge becoming a little more uh, defined for uh, Sunday. Uh, and that gives us, once again, just chances for showers and thunderstorms. And for day two, SPC is uh, outlooking a marginal risk, basically from eastern Missouri across into uh, the western part of Ohio. Monday, uh, we do note, once again, this little weakness uh, over Georgia, that uh, little kind of uh, upper-level feature. Uh, the ridge is becoming more established, but that little upper-level feature will help to create a good deal of showers, especially to our east. But once again, with precipital water values uh, remaining very high, we can't rule out showers at all. And uh, for day three, SPC has marginal outlooks over parts of uh, West Texas and New Mexico, as well as along the Ohio River Valley into the mid-Atlantic states. Tuesday, our, our little trough is finally uh, edging on out uh, of, of the into the Carolinas there. And again, the ridge becoming a little better established. But the moisture doesn't change, so the result is scattered showers. We're kind of in the, the monotonous forecast already. The ridge more uh, uh, identifiable on Wednesday, as you can see it along the Mississippi River right there. And Thursday, it uh, bulges a little further to the east and to the north, uh, helping to keep things warm with highs by uh, the latter part of the week, probably in the upper 80s. And once again, we continue to maintain some chances for showers. Um, not showing precipital water values, but I took a real quick look at those, and they're just not changing that much. By Friday, uh, we do have a bit of a ridge over our area, and uh, the uh, nice short wave coming across out of the Dakotas there into the western Great Lakes is going to help to dampen down our ridge. But we basically stay with a good deal of moisture, so we keep showers in the forecast. Now, the GFS and the European are both indicating something a little tropical uh, down south of Cuba down there. When we get out to Saturday, we see uh, that little uh, upper reflection over the southern Florida peninsula. 
and the GFS is bringing it up into the Florida Straits. In the meantime, of course, the moisture hasn't changed over the southeastern U.S., so we stay in showers. The interesting thing here is that the GFS and the European have been relatively close together for much of the week, but look at this. Uh, the, the European has something out in the northwestern Gulf of Mexico, south, of, uh, south or southwest of New Orleans. Wow, kind of hard to get too much uh, excitement over uh, such divergent forecasts. All right, we're going to look out into voodoo country, and uh, the GFS is suggesting a very big trough uh, coming in around the 28th of May, and that sucker digs into the eastern part of the United States by the 30th, and that spells a really nice cool down, at least for a day or two, over the uh, eastern part of the country and over the southeastern U.S., but as you know, it's uh, heading into the 1st of June, and by the time we get to the 1st of June, we have a nice big ridge coming up over Texas and nosing up into the Central Plain states. So the warmth will return with just a little breather there for a few days. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks so much for tuning in. I expect to have the next one posted first thing on Sunday morning. In, me in the meantime, you can always check back on notes on Alabama's weather. Have a great day. Godspeed. Summer's just around the corner and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models, so give us a call today to get a free, no-hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.